Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Games Workshop. Massive thank you to all the members that support the channel, uh, all of you new subscribers and everybody that uses the Element Games affiliate link. All of that support has aided this channel in picking up the Solar Auxilia Battle Group, uh, of which I'll be making more reviews of uh, the miniatures inside. So without further ado, let's have a look at the Warhammer Community website right here. And if we go back a week ago to the 27th uh, of April, so last weekend we had the Tau pre-orders, uh, the Codex in various sort of editions. Uh, we had a Croup Lone Spear, War Shaper, the Trail Shaper, Flesh Shaper, and a Crutox Rider. We also had some Rampages, some Carnivores, some Crute Hounds, and the Combat Patrol for Tau Empire, and some nice dice and cards. So um, great time to be a Tau player with all of their new stuff. And made to order orc dreadnought and some other orc goodness like the commandos and the knobs so yep you can pre-order uh, your your box of knobs now also for horus heresy um we have the solar auxilia basilisk and medusa that was up for pre-order last weekend um i will be getting them i guess um but i'll be turning it into a, a basilisk first um there's not a massive difference you might even be able to magnetize those cannons we also had the uh, Solar Auxilia Hermes uh, Light Sentinel Squadron. Um, two different flavours. You can build them as the Velatarii. And then you've got Black Library, War of the Mortal Realms, Indrasta, and the End of the Death in paperback, as well as a Horus Heresy collection. So a fair few um, uh, pre-orders from last week. Then the next day, we had a look at what the pre-orders are today. Um, White Dwarf celebrates its 500th edition, a massive, massive milestone. It's going to be a 192-page mega milestone issue. Um, wow, crazy. It's been 500 uh, issues. You've also got uh, a nice edition of um, Grom Brindle. Um, and you've got a... It's fully anchored within Mortal Realms, features a plethora of details that resonate with Age of Sigma, uh, Cruel Boy's Scare Shield, uh, Fire Slayer and Caradon Overlord mo motifs and more. As limited edition miniature, you'll be able to, you'll be able to pre-order him from today um, and then you can purchase him from Saturday the 18th. You've also got a White Dwarf 500 uh, merch box. You've got the t-shirt, hoodies, this diary thing, poster. Um, yeah, faux leather journal with gold foil logo. Six postcards. And then for Horus Heresy Legions Imperialis, we had the uh, Storm Hammers, they're up for pre-order today. Not sure whether we'll get a full plastic kit, because at the moment it's a combination kit and it's about £200. Um, like Forge World Resin and uh, the plastic um, Bane Blade kit. Solar Auxilia, you also have the Malkador Squadron. And the Dracosan Transport Detachment as well as Sakaran Squadron. Again, uh, just because they're in um, you know, plastic for Imperialis doesn't necessarily mean they'll come full plastic in uh, in the you know twenty eight mil scale. Um, the plasma the Omega Plasma Ray on these Sakarans is horizontal instead of vertical. Um, don't know about that. Um, if they're horizontal, it kind of means that they are. There's a there's a larger gap between both of the uh, the barrels. I think they would be better off um, vertical, but it's just my my opinion. Uh, Legion is Astartes Legion fast attack, so you've got some um, older 
uh, land speeders. You've got the four hefty javelin land speeders and loads of jet bikes as well as outriders. Again, just because we've got these older land speeders and the javelin in plastic this time around. As well as the outriders to be fair, um, doesn't necessarily mean um, we're going to get them in full plastic. It would be nice to get full plastic kit for the javelins though. You've got Legion, again, this is the same can be applied for these Dreadnought drop pods that do look different. You've got the optional assembly um, for a Palisade or Palisade drop pod. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Um, yeah, so these Palisade drop pods, it's a new variant loaded with heavy shield generator, which creates an ordnance blocking field for your troops to hunker down within. Interesting. Um, personally, it, it looks a bit odd. Like at first looks, it kind of looks like missiles or something or um, some kind of mortar battery thing. Um, maybe because there's not much going on in there. Uh, I, I probably would have liked some kind of um, support strut or something that fires up against there or is part of it, it as it stands it just looks like a an open drop pod um, with with this thing yeah it's odd um, I think there should be more on there but yeah it's one of those things Warhammer the old world we've got uh, orcs and goblins made to order including a very cool dragon Yep. So we saw a preview of these not that long ago saying that they would come and here they are. Middle Earth, we've got Osgiliath, Ruined City of Gondor. It's quite cool. Box games, we've got Dark Tide. And Black Library, we've got uh, Syophas Kane, by Sandy Mitchell. So you've got Long Shot, French edition, and Jean Father, German edition, and Warhammer Plus, <laughs> painting some Orcs and Goblins. And that's it. Uh, for the pre-orders for today. Um, join the Doorbringer Crusades and celebrate White Dwarf 500 with this month's free miniature, collectible coin. That's a collectible coin. Oh wow, you've got a White Dwarf 500 collectible coin. Very cool. So you'll be able to... That'll be in store 4th of May today. Um... This is the 500th, 500th issue. Wow. Stormcast Eternals. Prosecutors. This is new Age of Sigma. I'm not sure. I just added flames to the wings, did they? I like them though. I like the poses. Yeah, that one's very cool. Yeah, I think they um, look better than the uh, the Liberators, I think. So that's cool. Uh, so that's good. Um, Rimmer Engine. Some kind of magic type warp thing going on. There's a bit of, bit of rocks with some lightning maybe. Or it could be just don't think it's tree roots, no. It's got to be some kind of lightning. Um, three Legends of the Old World Battle for Supremacy in the New Thrones of Decay DLC for Total War Warhammer 3. New Age of Sigmar Clash with Eldritch Manifestations. You've got this universal manifestation law. Grumbrindle through the ages. So the White Dwarf, 1979, 96, 2002, 2007, 2009. That's a space Grumbrindle. 2010, 2011, 2012. 2013, Witch Hunter, 
Dragon Slayer, 2016, 2017, the Space Marine one. Blood Bowl, Tech Priest, 2019. And then the White Dwarf, 500. Wow. So has he had more minis of him than any other character? Maybe. Uh, so you got the free Dark Oath rules right here, Battle Tome Supplement. Um, spearhead. So this is a new uh, Furious mode. What is Spearhead? Okay. So each uh, faction spearhead force is created from the contents of a single box and is currently available. Uh, all currently Vanguard boxes will be rebanded as spearhead boxes. Uh, you've got uh, Venture into the Wilds with Lawmasters on Warhammer Plus. Our first white dwarf, travel back in time. It's the very first one. Yeah, it takes me back because I've got quite a few of those <laughs> that they're showing. Free giant poster. Yeah, remember free stuff, guys. Remember when they they gave you free things? I'm sure there was like yeah, free miniature look. I'm sure they gave you free space marines and free free codexes and free posters and things and yeah then they turn them into weekly um and then they turn the releases weekly and then they've um they reverted back to monthly black library readers choice winners chosen by you so titanicus hmm okay uh gray seer so they're the two, two ones. Uh, you got battle tactics issue, uh, warehouse update. This is important. Um, they're closing their warehouses between the twenty seventh of May and third of June. Uh, so any orders received uh, will be dispatched once the warehouses open. Again, so just for a week, it seems. Best battle reports ever. They really live their favourite showdowns. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I I remember that one. That was that was one of my favourites. That definitely um, yeah. That's very memorable for me. Um, yeah, I guess that one. Yep, I remember the white scars one. Uh, not so much that one. Yep, I remember that one too. White Dwarf three hundred. Not so much that one. Wall across the tank factory. I can't. Was that Black Templars? No. And then White Dwarf 500. Oh, of course. Favourite is from White Dwarf 500. Of course, it is. Um, then World Championships of Warhammer, qualified for a place in Atlanta, and then walk the path to epic, walk the path to glory and forge armies in New Age of Sigma. So you've got ranks and pathways and things, and that's it for the news. So not a huge amount, you know, um, not a lot of pre-orders and things. Obviously, it's a bit lackluster without the um, Horus Heresy pre-orders which will return after the summer apparently um, so yeah uh, a bit low on the old news aren't they after um, sort of the controversy let's go on their web store and see what's uh, going on there okay so here we are on uh, Games Workshop's web store lovely uh, front page there to celebrate the 500 issues you've got secure Grom Brindle before 8am uh, Monday 3rd of June so you know anyone that orders him um, we'll have a, a bit of history if we just go to shop and 
unit exclusive. And then we go to there. So, so the big, big pre-order today really is the Osgiliath Ruined City of Gondor, uh, 185 pounds uh, for all of this scenery. For Lord of the Rings, I guess you'd only need to buy uh, a few of them um, to get a, a big old city going. Lovely detail, very nice bits of scenery there. You get several plastic scenery kits, one tower, three mansions and three sets of ruins. Doesn't seem like a lot though, for almost £200. Almost £200, but then again, I guess these mansions are pretty big and the tower must be quite big as well. But these things, not so much. Uh, they're at the actual ruins themselves. You've got the Combat Patrol Tau Empire was last week. Um, this Dark Tide. Let's have a look. So that's up for the 18th, so that's in two weeks' time. Um, the minis we've seen before, uh, especially the Pox Walkers, but you another chance of getting this, uh, this Traitor Guard. Um, will they ever be released separately? I don't know, but £65 and they come in the coloured um, miniatures. You know, the coloured plastic. Uh, you are getting, yeah, 10 traitor guardsmen, 6 pox walkers, and then 4 operatives. So, 20 miniatures for 65 if you can get it at a discount for about 40 something. Not too bad. Um, you got a special edition cow to, tau codex was uh, last week. That's out of stock though. You've got the um, solar auxilia uh, sets that was last week, and so was the crew tox and the tau and that awesome looking lone spear. Uh, but this is up for pre-order today. You've got the Dracosan transport detachment, thirty pounds um, for six of the vehicles. You've got four dreadnought drop pods for thirty. I'm actually quite interested in this one. Let's have a look. So you can have them just open or you just have this extra kind of attachment thing going on. Um, four Dreadnought Drop Pods, yep. Okay. And then you've got the Stormhammer Squadron, 30 pounds for two of those. Do you get any options? Yeah, so no, it doesn't look like you get any options, it seems. Um, oh, either multi-lasers or last cannons. Okay. Um, and you can also, different build options for the cupola. So customize your vehicles with uh, gun gunners, spotters, closed hatches and other crew. Um, yeah, they show a little gunner there. That's quite cool. You've got the uh, fast attack for Legiones, for Legion, for Legiones Astartes, thirty pounds. You've got the Sakaran Squadron, thirty pounds for the four of those. Let's have a little look. So yeah, there's the uh, plasma array. Yeah, four plastic kits. Oh, you also got gunners, spotters, and closed top hatches, which are not really shown, but I'm sure they exist. Uh, you've got the Malkador Squadron, thirty pounds for four of those. Similar, similar case, I think, uh, with the gunners, possibly. No, those hatches look quite small. What does it say? Uh, yeah, gunners, spotters. It's a shame it doesn't show pictures of them, though. That would have been quite useful. Um, you've got Crutox Rider last week, but then you've got Grom Brindle, £25 um, for the the White Dwarf. Um, obviously, lovely you know, paint job with the non-metallic metallic. Not many pieces. Look at that for a box. 
Now that is that is a lovely, lovely box. Um, and that is a bit of history. If you've managed to survive to 500 issues. Yeah, incredible. Um, you've got the Crute Hounds, War Shaper, all these Crute and Tau were last week. But you do have uh, War for the Mortal Realms in paperback, £15. End of the Death, that's out of stock in paperback. Um, you could probably pick it up from Amazon or somewhere. Uh, Cyphus Kane, Sandy Mitchell, £10. Indrasta for £8. And then, of course, the White Dwarf, 500 seven pounds um i don't think it's any more expensive but uh yeah a lot of content for that one um when is that out whopping 192 yeah so in two weeks time 17th um that is out pre-orders ship on or after launch day um might be worth just going into many many stores i'm sure they'll they'll sell them wouldn't it be nice though after 500 you know for the for the magazine because whether they make a loss or not games workshop are grown exponentially uh, since the very first white dwarf and um you know some of the growth is from white dwarf uh, definitely uh, and some of white dwarf's growth is from the hobby um but wouldn't it have been awesome to celebrate 500 uh, editions by bundling in um grum brindle you know Yes, he's a £25 miniature, but, you know, think how many of these issues more they would have sold if they bundled him in. And it would have been a nice thank you to everybody that had, um, you know, made it possible for White Dwarf to get to 500 you know, um, especially after, you know, them changing it to weekly and all those kind of things. Um, that would have been nice, but, uh, but no. <laughs> it's just a thought. I, if I was in charge, I'd say, right... Put um, Grom Brindle uh, in with every one of these as a thank you to the um, to all of your customers that have been around for for the five hundred issues. But you know, and that is it for the news and pre-orders uh, today. Big focus on Grom Brindle. Um, you've got the uh, piece of scenery, you've got Dark Tide, and you've got some um, Legions Imperialis as well. So not really any 40k at the moment, not really any um, Horus Heresy or Age of Sigma. What do you guys think of uh, the pre-orders? Will you be picking up anything? Will you be picking up Grom Brindle or the uh, White Dwarf at least to be part of history uh, for another sort of 500? Please put your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.